Yo, dog, Kenny Boucher here, Next Level Painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days. On this beautiful Friday, we got a brand new Infinity tutorial for you. I am recording from the Mobile Beats Lab, AKA the Beats Lab Lights. I'm in the mountains of California while my lady is out in LA looking for our new apartment. Very exciting time. I have not been taken, so there is no need to call Liam Neeson to bail me out of whatever situation I got in on the road. Lots of stories from the road. We're breaking those in the podcast. First thing I wanna say, the long war, nothing has changed there. I am still the editor, still the producer, and still, uh, last time I checked, uh, one third of the cast. I just happened to move. Geographical location does not impact my ability to do my job with the long war, nothing has changed. I'm on the podcast, I edit the podcast. I edit the battle reports, I do these tutorials, I edit these tutorials, I do all the artwork, and I am one third of the whole crew. Nothing has changed, I just wanna ease out, ease people out of that. I also wanna um, congratulate the winner of the Iwata Eclipse from the Gemma giveaway, Spencer Cohen. Congratulations, my man. So today we're gonna be painting Infinity models, and this is gonna mark the beginning of possibly an entire year of Infinity. Maybe 50 tutorials. Don't get crazy because we still have 140K tutorials in the archives. So now I wanna branch out and do a little bit on uh, a different game system. These got beautiful models. They're very, very delicate and they're all pewter. So we're gonna have a lot of new tutorials showing off a lot of new techniques. I wanna jump right into thanking my patrons. The Patreons have been holding it down for me uh, and help me with some of my recent financial problems. So I wanna do a quick roll call, a little shout out some of my new patrons. We got James, your true pimp son. Uh, we got Marcus, William. Uh, looks like uh, another James. Yo, James is popular, it's a great name. Uh, we also got my boy, uh, B Mooney, Michael Morris, Troy, uh, Kyle. We got John, Richard, Parker, and Dominic, and Antonio, Adrian. Yo, list goes on, Roland. Uh, Novellin, Anthony, Dirk, thank you. It means so much to me. I just wanna quickly say, Patreon is an opportunity for you to fund me. Little bits of money every month go a long way with me. They help me keep the lights on. Like I said a million times before, I don't do it for the money. It does take money to do it. So Patreon gives you the opportunity to throw a little bit of money my way. But if you give me $6, you gain two weeks exclusive and early access to all these tutorials. You see them two weeks before anybody and you see them for ad free forever if you just use Patreon as your portal. If you give um, $20 or more, I'll let you see three weeks out. You know what I'm saying? So there is some deal, I'm trying to give back, uh, but obviously all my content will remain on YouTube for free, but I will literally put a billion ads in it and it will be two weeks late. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast, like I said. I mean, I need the money to keep the lights on to keep doing what I'm doing. Thank you guys for your support. It means the world to me. Check out thelongwar.net, the home of the battle reports. Let's jump right into this tutorial. Let's do this thing. This is the final product. This is what we're gonna get to. This is the big mech boy in the Panosia starter set. This guy is a sick model, love him to death. And I'm gonna show you how to take this model to this level in two simple tutorials. First things first, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna do the Vallejo Surface Primer. And the interesting thing about this tutorial is I'm actually following along with the Master Series Guide by Angel Heraldas. I think he's the uh, sponsored painter uh, for the company that makes Infinity. And additionally, I think he's a uh, he reps some Vallejo products. So I'm following along his master series, physical analog tutorials, books. Um, and I'm gonna see if they're any good. And I'm gonna tell you guys uh, as a, you know, a master, uh, if it is a good master series book. So he recommends using a Vallejo service primer. And I'll tell you right now, I don't recommend using it. Uh, it will get the job done, but I recognize that he is um, advertising for Vallejo and it is a really good primer but I would never use it on this pewter um, if you were gonna be beating up these models by playing with them all the time. But it does, conversely, give you a more subtle primer, which lets the subtle details of the Infinity models pop more. So what we're doing here is very light coats of the Vallejo Surface Primer. 
I'm doing multiple, multiple coats. And then I'm going to pull out a gray surface primer. And this is just some stuff I got in a gift bag at Adepticon one year. Um, and he recommends Vallejo, but I, I didn't have any, so I had this. And I'm doing kind of the same thing here, multiple light coats. So after we let that primer dry, and we got that black primer in every little nook and cranny, we're going to come through and softly build up the primer to gray all over again. Because that surface primer apparently has better stick and better protection. Though I still think that with these pewter models, I still would go with a, an old fashioned spray paint. Uh, but I can't argue with the results. The model did come out good. I haven't had any problems with chipping yet, but it's just my gut. Now here he is. He is gray primed. And I think in the tutorial uh, by Angel, he uh, had a darker primer, a darker gray. So mine's brighter. Now we're using dark Prussian blue and I'm using all model color, no airbrush paints here, simply because the master series guide uh, that he that he put together, I think it came out before Vallejo put out their air series. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna falsify this. I'm gonna use all the same paints he used. So I'm building up, same deal, multiple light coats. I cannot stress this enough. This is what uh, has to happen when you're doing these delicate models that have very re realistically low detail. Um, it's a big it's a big misconception that these types of models have high detail. They're actually subtle and very low detail. The detail comes from the from the paintbrush. So you gotta be subtle. So I'm doing very thin coats with the Prussian blue. I'm mixing it down in my beats lab, using a little water, using a little Vallejo flow improver. And I'm just doing I'm just it doesn't look like I'm doing anything here, but I'm actually doing another very thin coat. I'm trying to get this blue into every little nook and cranny. I'm trying to get in between the cocks, the cock, the crotchal region, aka the cock bone there in between his legs trying to get it up inside the shield arms you got to get it everywhere it's kind of difficult to leave parts off these pewter models so you kind of just have to go gangster with the application process here multiple thin coats let them dry thoroughly between passes and you can see we're establishing a very true prussian blue we're throwing on i believe our last coat right here Getting it nice, getting it nice and even, because you don't want there to be irregularities. You don't want to have certain areas brighter and darker than others. We're, the Prussian blue is now our base color. Now we're moving into blue green. And I believe we're going to mix the blue green in 50-50 uh, with the Prussian blue. Real simple. And then we're going to do our first cut pass with, with, with this color combination. Very subtle. We're delicately creating highlights. Very subtle highlights, building up, going where we want to. You know what? And I may not have gone 50-50 here. This might be pure blue-green, now that I think about it. I think that this is what he recommended in his book. I thought it was kind of weird, but the, but the transitions the transitions did come out well. This is probably why he uh, uses so many multiple thin passes, because he does go very extreme with the transitions, which I do think is a cool-ass effect. So same deal. We're going to take out the white, and this is where I think I do it different. He goes to pure white in his tutorial. I mixed the white in with the with the, the blue green first to get a more subtle transition, and then I go to pure white. Same kind of deal. Find all the highlights you just laid down with that airbrush. Reinforce them now that you've added white to the mix, and it's coming out very striking. You're getting a very dramatic look, a very clean look, and you're getting a very like walked right off the pages of a comic book feel. Like these these are photographs that don't look like photographs. And as we move into the next transition, you can assume that we're gonna go pure white to pop some of these highlights out. Uh, but not before we, we we keep building this up. I want, I mean, I can't stress this enough. It's got to be subtle. You can't play games with these, with these very flat surfaces. Like I said, the guy has a lot of details on him, but he's relatively low detail. All the panels are perfectly flat. It's up to you to make them exciting. And that's where the airbrush is your, is, your, is your secret weapon. And so now we're rebuilding those highlights, adding a little white back into the mix, subtly building them up to these really striking, incredible transitions, which is what I love about the airbrush. And as you can see here, he's looking amazing. Uh, he is very beautiful. And now we're gonna take him in next week's tutorial to the next level. I'm gonna show you how to transform it from this to this in one easy tutorial. It's gonna be a long tutorial though, but it is gonna be very fun to, to, to follow along with. 
He is a very amazing looking model and the master guide did work out for me. I'll walk you guys through the next stages though. And like I said, it's interesting. We are using uh, another Pro Painters tutorial, uh, but an analog tutorial in the form of a book. Anyway, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Uh, had fun reporting from the Mobile Beats Lab. I'll see you guys next week. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.